Hi, Sierra. Mr. Barry here. Uh, wanted to cover some of these word problems. Seemed like you were struggling on, but certainly appreciate the effort here. Try to do three of these. One for each of the major uh, things from Unit 2. Um, this one right here uh, would be on the back side of the intercept form application problem. Uh, we really like intercept form uh, because it does a really nice job of telling us a lot of information about the ground level. So this is the first one that we did um, of the three. So we have our function here, and an object is launched from a platform. Its height in meters x seconds after the launch is modeled by that function right there. And the first question says, at what time would the object hit the ground? Uh, so because this is intercept form, uh, it's very, very easy to tell the x-intercepts here. Um, this is our zero prog property that we're doing in the current unit, uh, which means if I take the two intercepts, x plus 1 is in the one parentheses, x minus 9 is in the other parentheses, and set them equal to 0, um, and solve, that would give me my two x-intercepts. It's when we're on ground level or um, when we make a uh, profit of 0 and a bunch of word problems that could pop up. Now here in this problem, x is seconds. Uh, so technically we would have an algebraic answer of negative one seconds and an algebraic answer of nine seconds. Um, if we were on the graph, our parabola would look something like this, and go up like that. Um, but we know that there is no such thing as negative time. So even though algebraically this right here, this negative one is an answer, um, we're not gonna consider it as part of this application problem which would leave us with only nine seconds as a potential. Um, that would be this location right here on the graph, if you actually had a graph for it. At what time would the object be at its highest location? Uh, this spot right here, we see the word highest. Um, later on, we're going to see the word maximum. These are talking about our maximum minimum. So again, if we had a picture of this on the graph, you can always get on the Desmos. We did that. Um, a little bit, I think, before the Easter break. Um, we want to find the x value for the x symmetry. Um, that would be the middle point in between the intercepts. So there's a couple different ways to do this. Um, sometimes if we just draw out all of our numbers that go in between two intercepts, so negative 1 to 9, uh, we could figure out that way 3. 1, 1, 1, 1, that in the middle of the two x-intercepts would be the number 4. Um, so our highest location, the time would be at 4 seconds. We do have an axis symmetry formula. Uh, so if you don't like just thinking about what would be in the middle of these two x-intercepts, uh, we could always just use a formula. Uh, we would take our two x-intercepts from the previous problem, negative 1 and 9, and divide it in half. Uh, so negative 1 plus 9 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. That's another way to get that our highest location here would be at 4 seconds. What is the maximum height of the object? Um, so we know what time it hits the maximum height. Now we just actually have to figure out the actual maximum height. Height. So now that I have this four seconds over here, I can take the number four, plug it back in, and if I need to find a maximum height or whatever the question may be asking for, I can take that axis of symmetry, in this case it was the number four, plug it back in and get the value that way, the y value for our maximum. Um, so I'm going to plug it into this function. I've got the number four. Uh, you're going to be watching this on video, so if you need to slow it down to calculate here, you want to check the calculator before I show you the answer. Uh, we got negative 5 times 5 times negative 5, and I believe that would be 125, and we're in meters here, so we'll go with meters. 125 meters would be the highest location of this object. And we know that that's the case at four seconds. Finally, one last question here. What is the height of the object at the time of launch?